Hi students, welcome to One Minute Micro Techniques with Lisa Schimmel uh, from Crafton Hills College. And today I'd like to talk about the decarboxylation of amino acids test. We've got uh, three different varieties of that media. It's a broth, uh, and the pH indicator in it is brome cresyl purple. Uh, the three amino acids that we have available are arginine, lysine, and ornithine. Pretty much the broth looks the same. You'll see colored dots on the tubes and there's a key available to help you uh, determine which of the amino acids you're working with. Now, to make my inoculation, uh, what I'm going to do is get my test organism available. I'm going to flame my loop. I will aseptically remove some of the test organism from the slant. And then I'm just going to um, swish the organism into the fresh tube of decarboxylation broth. Now, this is a reaction that occurs under anaerobic conditions. So after I make all of my inoculations, I'm going to add a layer of sterile mineral oil to each tube. Need about a quarter inch to a half inch layer and you can either, um, uh, here's a little bit of sterile mineral oil, you can either pour the oil into the tube or you can use a sterile pipette to add it. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a pipette um, and I will remove the cap, get a little bit of the mineral oil out with my pipette. I'm not worried about keeping this sterile at this point because if there's any oil left over it's going to be disposed of. All right, this is the tube I inoculated a minute ago going to just always flame the lip of the tube and I'm going to go ahead and add my sterile mineral oil um, taking care not to touch the pipette to the tube so that I can use it for my um, my other tubes. All right flame the lip of the tube again replace the cap and this tube is ready for incubation. Now these are going to incubate between 48 and 72 hours you should check them at 48 hours. If you have a clear-cut positive or negative reaction at that time, then go ahead and end the test. But sometimes the tubes will look a little wishy-washy. Uh, let me talk about this for, uh, for just a moment. Now, really the only positive reaction that we're looking for would be that the broth remains purple, but there is obvious turbidity, meaning evidence of growth in the tube. And here we go. Here's a, a, a good positive reaction right here. All right, purple with turbidity, so that's a positive. Now, if the broth should change either to clear or to yellow, like this, here's a yellow one, that would be a negative reaction. But sometimes at 48 hours, um, as I said before, the highly technical term, the color may be sort of wishy-washy, meaning kind of a gray color, uh, somewhere between purple and clear. In that case, I would let the tube incubate for an additional 24 hours, 72 hours total, and whatever I had at the end of 72 hours, I would go ahead and make a call from that. All right, then, thanks for watching, and more later.